Welcome everybody back to the Radical Marketer YouTube channel where we talk about how to leverage credit, how to leverage social media, and how to make money online. So if those things interest you, go ahead and smash that like button and punch that subscribe button. It helps us out greatly in the YouTube algorithm to help more people see our content, and that would mean more to me than you know if you just go ahead and do that. All right guys, let's get into the Citizens Small Business Credit Card for 25 grand that they're offering right now. All right, guys, so let me kind of give you some caveats with Citizens Bank. But before I do that, if you watch the entire video, at the end, I'm gonna give you a street secret strategy that you guys can implement with Citizens Bank. So make sure you watch the entire video, okay? And then I'll give you that, uh, that, that secret juice. All right, guys. So on Citizens Bank, you guys gotta know that they're bread and butter of small businesses. They've been doing this for a very long time. Um, and they are known for giving generous limits to small businesses. And what I love about this right here is you can get up to $25,000 on these small business credit cards. And then also they don't report to your personal credit, which is awesome. And you get higher limits than if you got a personal card. Okay. So you guys will always hear me talk about small business cards, small business cards, small business cards, always business credit, business credit, business credit, always. Okay. Now, these cards will require you to have a personal guarantee and these pulls will be coming from Equifax, okay? So you need to make sure that your Equifax is in good standing um, and they're a personal guarantee, okay? But what I like about this is there's gonna be no annual fee for these credit cards, 0% APR on these credit cards with comprehensive benefits and they're gonna offer two credit cards, okay? You say, well, what's the difference? Well, the difference is gonna be, they're gonna be a lower interest rate on the Platinum MasterCard than the points one. So if you want points, you're gonna pay higher interest, but if you're paying on time, it doesn't make a difference. You're gonna be making a ton of points with the Everyday Points Business MasterCard. Business MasterCards are accepted everywhere, um, which is nice, so if you're doing any international, that's gonna be nice as well. But as you can see, uh, 8.24, you're looking at 3%. That's a really good rate, 8% on a business credit card. That's a really, really good rate, okay? I'm a big fan of Citizens. I would really highly encourage you guys to apply because there's a soft pull. It's not a hard pull, okay? Um, and then you guys could even see more of the benefits right here if you want to compare them, okay? Provides better rates versus points, okay? Cash back, travel awards, merchandise, right? Um, and then, you know, they're going to kind of go through all of these different things. You're going to get discounts on QuickBooks and TurboTax. And they'll charge for additional cards, golf privileges, a TPC course. You know, it's a lot of them. Cell phone protection, all this stuff. Actually, look at this stuff too, guys, because there's a lot of benefits you get with these cards that you may not realize. Put it on like a spreadsheet and figure out all the stuff that you guys get. Okay? But I'm a big, big fan of Citizens Bank. Okay? Now, if you go here to apply now, for example, it's gonna take you to the apply page, business credit card for everyday purchases, line of credit or capital, okay? Um, and then so you can kind of see all the different things that they do, okay? This has had a lot of videos on it. I'm gonna be making a video on the line of credit um, here soon. But let's kind of go over to the business credit cards and go to continue, right? And then you're gonna be basically be putting your annual sales. Um, and yeah, you just kind of get started with there. If you have questions, you can call them. Now, one thing that I wanna let you guys know about citizens, okay? Um, leave page, go back to citizens, okay? Um, with citizens, what's really cool about this that I would recommend a lot of you guys do is if, if they have, um, basically you can find out where their locations are um, and then you can call them too, but you can call to see if they have a local branch. And this is what I would do. I would go into your local branch and I would say, I want to open up uh, a business checking account with you guys. And then they're most likely going to offer you uh, a credit card. And I would say, you know what? I would love to have a business credit card and I would love to have a line of credit. This is the bonus tip for sticking around guys, just for, so you know, okay? And then most of the times you get better results when you go into a bank than when you apply online with something like this. You go in there and you do that. Um, and you could say, is that a hard pull or a soft pull? It's a soft pull online, is it a soft pull here? And it could be, okay? Um, if it's not, then it's not. But here's the thing, once you get approved for those, 
then you can challenge that inquiry uh, if you want to with the inquiry strategy that I made. I'll put a link in the description below to that uh, inquiry video of how to remove inquiries uh, because that's what a lot of people do is they remove the inquiries from the business credit applications. They apply for the business credit, they get the business credit, and then they challenge those inquiries because those inquiries actually, they're not, when the bureaus are, when you're challenging it with the bureaus, the bureaus aren't going to Citizens Bank. They're going to the Sage Streams and the LexisNexis to see if that's valid or not. But if you freeze your LexisNexis in your Sage Stream, then they can't validate that debt and they, they have to prove that. Otherwise, they have to remove that by law. Otherwise, they can be sued. So that's kind of my whole strategy of removing inquiries, doing it that way. But Citizens Bank, guys, is absolutely amazing. I'm actually gonna be applying for their business products here soon. Uh, but I wanted to bring that to light that they have $25,000 business credit card, 0% APR. Get that and then try to stack that with a line of credit with them. You're going to be smoking good shape right there. You're going to be in really, really good shape. Um, really good uh, financial institution to do business with. Guys, go ahead in the, in the description below and put in if you guys have citizens. What's been your experience with citizens? Um, it also, put in if you'd like me to do a video on any specific subject, okay? Um, I would love to be making videos for you guys. As you guys can see, um, I wanted to uh, kind of give you some background on citizens and any type of cre credit products. I'm making videos daily in your credit journey, and I have a private Facebook group. Yes, it's private. You have to apply for it. You don't have to pay for it. It's completely free. Uh, but we talk all things credit, making money online in there, and give a lot of strategy. It's all about the law of reciprocity. You give out freely, and you'll receive freely. And that's what it's about. It's not about me spamming. It's not about you spamming. It's not about you selling. Or it's not about me selling. It's only about making money online and leveraging credit and building relationships. So go ahead and add uh, that Facebook group. If there's not a lot of people in there right now, it's just because I just started it, okay? So be some of the first groundbreaking people in there, um, and then all of your questions can be answered in there as well. Um, guys, I'm making videos daily, just like I said as well, so make sure that you like, that you comment, and that you subscribe. You doing that means more than you know. A lot of people don't realize that when you guys do a great comment like, hey, great video, keep it up, things like that, uh, YouTube sees, oh, they're not just watching, they're interacting with the video. And when you do that, uh, it, it just allows YouTube to show this video out more. And when you like it, uh, the video, it also uh, helps YouTube think that it's a good video. So they keep showing it. And those are the biggest things that you can do for me. I'm not charging for my services. I get paid off of ads, right? So you watching some ads and you liking and commenting the video is the best thing that you can do for me. And I'll keep producing the great content for you. All right, guys. Well, you guys have an amazing day. That's all I have. Go check out Citizens Bank. Go apply. Go get some credit. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video tomorrow. God bless. Take care. Peace.